All right, so for sale here is our 2016 Intec custom trailer. Uh, it's a 28 foot trailer. It's, uh, I believe, a foot and a half of extra height, maybe just one foot, I can't remember, but it is uh, taller than the usual trailer. Uh, full, fully aluminum construction. It's got the, uh, the RV step that slides out on the side. The uh, cast aluminum corners and one piece roof, uh, aluminum wheels and spare, electric jack, all the typical uh, electrical system stuff here. And then uh, on this side, generator door. Uh, there's a vent in the front here and on the back on the other side, all LED lighting, uh, generator storage. You can fit a pretty good sized generator in here. Uh, I used to have a Honda 5600 watt, I believe, uh, generator fitting there just fine. And uh, there is a slide out for that available as well. But I took it out for the uh, little Harbor Freight generator just to make more space. There's a little bit of damage here on the fender well. And uh, right here where I ran over something on the freeway and clobbered that. But that's the worst of it. Everything else is just uh, kind of basic wear and tear. Um, we do race on dirt, so I mean, the floor is uh, a little scuffed up, but not too bad. Nothing you wouldn't expect. Uh, it does still have halogen lights in the header. I think those could be swapped out for LEDs. I haven't really seen the need to, uh, to do that. But uh, inside, everything uh, rack and storage wise stays. Um, like fuel jugs, tools, spares that I'll show you here, uh, those will all come out. But it uh, has a hanger for four-way wrench, uh, mud covers, air hoses, electrical cords. This tire rack will hold six IMCA tires mounted. And then uh, the over-the-wheel storage. So I use that one for springs. <clears throat> Down here, gears, fire extinguisher. Uh, it's a gear rack from Pit Pal. That will all stay. <clears throat> I will keep the fire extinguisher in there since there's a sticker for it. Uh, this one has got a shock rack. I keep uh, spare trailing arms and upper control arms, ball joints, all that kind of stuff in there on the shelves. I do have more shelves as well that are brand new, never been used, uh, fit in this racking. So some more shelves there, just random chemicals and stuff. This one has got our uh, camping chair rack. So those fit in there pretty easily and then this is uh, coilovers, uh, a couple jack stands and some other spindles and stuff in there. <clears throat> on the other side, uh, got spare or room for eight fuel jugs, uh, triangle funnel hanger and then uh, I need to repair that, that's just a tie down strap hanger just like this one. Um, broom and duct tape from Pit Pal and a, uh, a workstation table here from Pit Pal as well. Um, right here's where I park the, uh, the pit cart. So there's a, an extra set of airline track in the floor. You can loop a strap over your, your pit cart and if you're going to carry a pit bicycle or something. Uh, bicycle, uh, a pit mini bike or something right there, you could. Then there's overhead storage, a wardrobe cabinet, and then under table storage. Uh, there are airlines throughout, so there's one here, there's one right there, and then there's one in the back where those straps are. Uh, this switch right here runs your air compressor, which is set up down here. The air compressor does not go with it, but I highly recommend the roll layer, uh, it's extremely quiet. But there's a plug down there that's connected to that out of that switch I just showed you and then the air hookup is all right there. So this is all one section of uh, cabinets here. We kind of keep some of our merch and car wash stuff and uh, some of the heavier spares in there. Overhead storage, basically all the same. There's some of our more delicate stuff rides up here. But uh, these are all on gas struts, so they open themselves. Um, 
no biggie there, nice and clean. There is room up top for a little bit of storage here. I've got some air cleaners and my, my rain cover for the car. And then the wardrobe cabinet, uh, lots of room. Shelf with space for helmets and stuff up top. Uh, shelf at the bottom for whatever. And then this is the, uh, the electrical, so the battery, uh, the power inverter, I guess, and all the, the fuses and everything go in there. Um, and then down here, you've got your winch and cabling. But uh, completely aluminum floor. It's, uh, it's been fantastic. It's real durable. It's a little bit dirty right now. Um, just kind of swept it out with a broom. It needs to be washed. Uh, we'd power wash it a couple times a year. And uh, brightens right up with a little bit of scrubbing. So uh, Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know. You can get a hold of me. Uh, wherever you saw this ad, there should be contact information. But uh, selling this the beginning of the 2022 season. Uh, oh, I did forget there. there's LED lights in the ceiling that run off of either 12 or 110. So depending on, like right now, we're not hooked to anything except the truck uh, and the, the lights work. So uh, there are also two ceiling vents with the little fans on them as well. But... Anyhow, that's that. Uh, it's a really nice trailer. It's been fantastic. Uh, we're just looking to downsize a little bit. So we'll, uh, we'll move on from this one. It's been fantastic. It's, it's a real head turner pretty much everywhere we go. And uh, yeah, it matches most gray factory color trucks. I have a gray uh, Ram and it, uh, it's a dead ringer for the, the color of the paint. So. Um, I, th I think I've seen it next, the same color from Intec with the GM gray, and it looks pretty good there too. Uh, this is my father-in-law's F-150, which is also gray, and it also matches really well. So I think all of your, uh, your big three companies making trucks will, will match the color pretty well, uh, as you can see there. So, All right, uh, that's about it. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, if you still see this video up, uh, I still have the trailer, so you can get in touch with me. Uh, however that works out for you, I'm pretty responsive on most uh, forms of social media. So thanks for watching.